Hey guys, it's Jesse with Lawn Life and today we're going to talk about plant growth regulators. We're going to talk about what it is, how to apply it, and where you can buy it. Now, what is a plant growth regulator? Basically, in layman's terms, it is a chemical you put on your lawn for it to slow down the growth. And also, when it slows down the growth, it has a bunch of positive side effects that come with it. So the PGR we're going to talk about today is T-Nex, just because I have the most experience with it. There are a bunch of other PGRs out there. They basically do the same thing. Some are a little different. Some slow down seed head growth a little more than others. But just to make this video a little shorter and to narrow it down to one single PGR, we're going to talk about T-Nex today. Now, why would you want to slow down the growth in your grass? Well, for one, most people are lazy and don't want to mow their grass every one to three days if you have short grass or every four to seven days if you have long grass. So reason number one is people just don't like mowing the grass. So if you're lazy, this is the chemical for you. That way you don't have to go out there and mow as much. So why else would you want your grass to slow down? Well, when you slow down your grass's growth, it actually saves a ton of its energy in its roots because it is not gonna use that energy to grow. It is now just storing that energy. Now what that means is all of that energy it's storing, it can then fight against disease, it can fight against fungus, it can fight against heat stress, it can just fight against stress in general. So your grass is going to look a lot better when it comes across these things because it has the energy to fight it. So therefore, by slowing down the growth, you are actually making your plants or your grass more healthy. So that is another reason why slowing down its growth is a positive thing. Now, another awesome thing about PGR is it makes your grass darker. Now, I had a few people in my comments a few weeks ago telling me that PGR does not get your grass darker, and that is 100% false. There are peer-reviewed studies out there on the internet, you can go look them up, that show the clear difference between a grass that was applied PGR and a grass that was not applied PGR and the color difference. It is night and day. I mean, the grass is definitely darker with PGR applied to it. And I've noticed it in my own yard too, that I put a box over an area last year where I put PGR down. Just, I just wanted to see what kind of difference it made. And the grass was a ton darker and it was really weird. The spot where that box was, it was you could see a perfect rectangle and the grass was growing like two times as fast as the grass next to it. It, it was crazy looking. So I had this little mohawk rectangle in the middle of my grass, which was kind of weird, but I wanted to see how well it worked and it worked really good. Now, some other positives that come with T-Nex is also that it helps reduce seed head production in your native grasses, like your Kentucky bluegrass, your Bermuda, uh, your perennial ryegrass. It helps stop the seed head growth in those grasses, which can be an eyesore and they get stemmy and just, it's not very fun to have those stems in your grass when it's producing the seed heads. Now, T-Nex is a type two PGR, which means it doesn't reduce seed heads as much as a type one. Type one PGRs really reduce the seed head population, but type twos definitely reduce it because the last two years I've used PGR on my only my front yard and not in my back. And in my backyard, it is full of seed heads. Right at this moment, it's full of seed heads compared to my front yard. My front head yard has a little bit, but my backyard is full of seed heads. And I have a feeling that it's because of the PGR. Now, not only does it reduce the eyesore of having those stalks and the seed heads in your grass from your native grass, it also helps reduce the seed heads in poa annua, which will then therefore produce less plants when they germinate in the fall. So if you have a poa annua problem, putting down PGR in the fall will reduce those seed heads so they're not popping up and reproducing as many plants when it comes up the following spring. Filling in bare spots is also another positive that comes with the PGR. It helps fill in those bare spots and helps your grass so it's a lot more dense, which makes your grass more wear resistant to foot traffic and kids playing on it. And let's say your kids wanna go run out in the sprinkler for an hour and they're just running like mad through your lawn. If you have PGR down, your grass is gonna be more tolerant because it's gonna grow in denser and just be a lot healthier because of the PGR. So with all these positive with PGR, why isn't everybody using it? Well, to be honest, a lot of homeowners are using it now. It used to be used a lot back in the day on turf for turf management with football fields, baseball fields, golf courses. 
PGR was constantly applied, so they reduced the number of clippings that were going in the grass, and it cut down a ton on labor costs where people were ha having to mow every single day. They could cut their mowing costs in half, basically. But now homeowners are finding that it helps them free up a lot of time in their life, and also it helps their grass become even more healthy on top of it. Now, what are the negatives that come with PGRs? PGRs are kind of a pain to apply because you have to apply them in a foliar application. Now, the average homeowner doesn't want to go out there and spray, probably. The average homeowner doesn't have backpack sprayers or pump sprayers or anything like that, so they're not familiar with spraying foliar applications to their grass. Now, there are a ton of videos out there that show you how to begin spraying foliar applications to your grass, and it teaches you how to calibrate your sprayers and how to start spraying and find budget-friendly sprayers out there. So if you're just watching this video now and you wanna get into spraying PGRs and spraying other stuff on your lawn in general, find one of those videos to help you out and that'll help you get started. For time's sake, I'm just gonna get into how you apply these PGRs for someone that's familiar with spraying it on their lawn. Now, when you first put down PGR on your lawn, you definitely want to go under the label rate because there could be some ill effects from your grass if it's not used to being hit with PGR. So I would say you'd wanna cut your rate almost in half of what the rate is on the label just to get your grass used to taking in the PGR. So my first application last year, I used a half rate and then I used three quarters of the rate. And then on my third application, I actually used a full rate and then everything was in, going into gear and everything was perfect. Also, you do not want to apply PGR if your grass is stressed out. Your grass needs to be actively growing and being healthy if, to apply the PGR. If you apply it when there's disease pressure or it's really stressed out, it's, it might not react that well and it's gonna take a while for it to bounce back from that PGR because it's not growing at full strength anymore. So you definitely want your grass to be healthy and uh, actively growing when you put down PGR. I like to measure the PGR in milliliters instead of ounces just because it's so much more accurate for putting down that small amounts that you're putting in. If you are a golf course or a football field, they're putting down large amounts of this stuff, so that's why the label rates in ounces, but as a homeowner, you need to measure this in milliliters because it's just such a small amount. You don't wanna over apply this stuff for sure. Now, where can you buy PGR? You can buy PGR on Amazon. You can buy it on domyown.com. Um, but the bad part that comes along with buying PGR is they make it specifically for golf courses and sports fields and things like that. So it comes, the smallest that they produce for Teenex is a one gallon jug, which is a ton because a little bit of this stuff for a homeowner goes a long way. Just to give you an example, I bought a gallon jug at the beginning of last year and I haven't even probably used a 20th of it. I mean, I'm, I'm barely, I barely used any of it and I used it all last year and now at the beginning of this year because a little bit of that stuff goes so long. Now, the thinking with that could be, cool, I can just have a jug of Teenex for basically the rest of my life. You'd pay for it once and be done with it. Well, the crappy part is, of course, Teenex has a shelf life of like three to five years and then it stops basically working. So, there's a few options you have with buying this big expensive jug of Teenex. One, you can do a group buy with like your neighbors and split it amongst your neighbors and all use the PGR over that three to five years. The second option is on sites like thelawnforum.com in the marketplace section, there is actually group buys in there where people will buy a jug and they split it up and sell it and ship it out to you. So you can just get a small amount that way and not have to pay that much. And the third option is just to bite the bullet and just have a bunch of PGR, I guess. That's what I did, but I probably won't do that again just because I've now seen how much I have left over. But that's the one crappy part with Teenex, at least, is there's not, you can't buy it in a small amount and it is expensive when you buy that one gallon jug. So applying the PGR and buying the PGR are the two biggest negatives that come with it. Otherwise, everything else is all positive when it comes to PGR. I mean, it's gonna make your grass very healthy, make it look good, make it look dark green, and you don't have to work as hard. I mean, who wants to mow once every three damn days, man? Not me. More time to play with my kids. My wife hates that I mow, so this is a must for short grass. If you have tall grass, you don't even have to mow once a week. It's crazy. So 
I would say every homeowner should put down PGR if you really care about how your grass looks and you want to save some time. If you guys have any questions, leave your comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you. If you could like the video and subscribe to the page, I would really appreciate it. That way I can bring you guys as much helpful content as I can for the rest of the summer. Otherwise, I'll see you next time on Lawn Life.